Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this JetTech iPad Pro case. And this is for the 9.7 inch iPad Pro from 2016. And the models are A1673, A1674, and A1675. So I'll put a link to this in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. And that's for this model, but I'll also put a link to some other JetTech iPad cases. So if you don't have the exact model I have, you might be able to find a similar case on their store. So this is a very minimal case. It has a shell on the back side and a cover for the screen. So I don't tend to drop my iPads, so it doesn't provide that level of protection. It mostly just keeps it from getting scratched and such. So we have the case, it came with a warranty card. So inside there's some foam. So I'll take my iPad out of my current case and I've had it about five years and it's gotten cracked and such. It's like my desk isn't perfectly clean. So this has cutouts for things like the headphone jack, power, volume, camera, flash. On my previous case, this broke here. It broke very soon after I got it and I never did get warranty support on it. So it'll be interesting to see if this breaks. And this has different modes on it. So I'll get the iPad in here. It should be pretty easy to install. I usually take the volume switch side and put that in first. And then I clip in the other side. Okay. I think we're good there. Just give that a wipe. Let me just turn my light off. I don't know that we need it. Well, now we're getting glare from the other lights. So this has a magnetic latch on it. So when you close it and open it, it will sleep and wake up the iPad. So I don't have a way to show it while it's closed, but it did fall asleep as far as I know. So the back here is polycarbonate and this is polyurethane leather, PU leather. So it's a synthetic leather essentially. And it has this kind of a slightly softer surface on the inside so it doesn't scratch the screen. So you do want to make sure you keep any grit and sand off of this surface. So it has different modes on it. You can fold this like this. And that's like a viewing mode. So if you have this on a desk and you're watching something, you can put it in this mode. Then if you're typing on it, you can do this mode. And then you can type on it. So I generally use it in this mode here like that. So it's not infinitely adjustable. You're not going to find that in a lower price case. There are times I will use it like this. Of course you can't jiggle that around it will fall. But you can kind of see there. Sometimes I'll do that angle. But it's pretty stable if you're not touching it. Even if I like move it around it's pretty stable. And I say I do this. I've done that with my previous case and this case is similar to my previous case in the form factor. And you can see all the buttons microphone speakers, because this does have stereo speakers, lightning port is all accessible. And there's the camera and the flash microphone. Microphone is not centered on that little hole. I don't know that's going to make a big difference, but so I just want to make this quick video in case anyone was looking at this and they wanted to see what they were getting. Again, this is the JetTech iPad Pro case for the 9.7 inch iPad Pro from 2016. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.